Good morning Junior Church and welcome to the park. Now the weather this week has been super hot and sunny but you may have noticed on your walk to school that things around us are just starting to change. Now let me show you what I mean. Some of the leaves on the trees are starting to change colour to reds and yellows and oranges as we move from summer into autumn. Now you can see behind me that some of the leaves are already on the ground along with some other exciting things. How many of you have already picked up a conker? Oh no, this is an acorn, an acorn <laughs> or a conker. And maybe you've even started a collection of them. But do you know what they're for? Well, they're not just a tasty snack for squirrels, but they're also the tree's seeds. The tree drops them in autumn, so if they land in good soil, the, the, the seed will grow shoots. Uh, I've got one here to show you. Here's one with a little shoot on it. Uh, and more trees will grow. I was looking at a book in the Bible written by a guy called Matthew and in the middle of that book there seems to be lots of parables or stories with special meanings where Jesus keeps talking about seeds. Jesus talks about a very small seed called a mustard seed growing into a great big tree like the ones you see behind me and another story about a farmer sowing seeds in a field and landing just like the conkers are at the moment some of them in good places where they can grow and others where it's a bit trickier to grow. So was Jesus doing a science lesson? No. Jesus was talking about faith and comparing our faith to tiny little seeds. Now this seed might be little but have you ever thought that within this seed there is the power to grow a huge tree? There's a verse in the Bible that says, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to a mountain, move from here to there and it will move. Nothing is impossible for you. Moving mountains, eh? But Jesus was saying, like this little seed, even if you have a tiny little bit of faith, you can do amazing things when you trust God. In the middle of all these parables about seeds in Matthew, there is a wonderful story about Jesus and his BFF Peter. And in it, Peter does something amazing with the little bit of faith that he had. Watch this and listen out for where Jesus talks to Peter about Peter's little but incredible bit of faith. Stories of the Bible. Peter walks on water. This is Peter. Hey Peter was a fisherman who was called by Jesus. Hey. Peter saw the many miracles of Jesus. Whoa! And he heard all his teachings. Great crowds followed Jesus wherever he went. One day after Jesus had done a great miracle, he sent the disciples in a boat across the lake while he stayed and sent the people home. See ya. Hey, Jesus. After sending them home, Jesus went up into the hills by himself to pray. Meanwhile, the disciples were in trouble far away from land, for a strong wind had risen, and they were fighting heavy waves. Ah! About three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came toward them, walking on water. When the disciples saw him walking on the water, they were terrified. Ah! In their fear, they cried out, It's a ghost! Hold on there. But Jesus spoke to them at once. Don't be afraid, he said. Take courage. I am here. Hmm. Then Peter called to him, Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come to you walking on the water. So Jesus said, Yes, come. So Peter went over the side of the boat. Whoa, you're awesome. And walked on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw the strong wind and the waves, ah, whoa! he was terrified and began to sink. Peter, help me. Save me, Lord, he shouted. Jesus immediately reached out and grabbed him. Jesus said, you have so little faith. Why did you doubt me? When they climbed back into the boat, the wind stopped. Then the disciples worshipped him and said, You really are the Son of God. Now, 
This month we are looking at trust. Now, when I was at school and I listened to this very familiar story, I used to think that it showed Peter as not having a lot of trust or faith in God. You know, he hadn't trusted Jesus enough and he'd started to he'd started to sink. He kind of he got it wrong. And oh, silly Peter. And I used to think that when Jesus spoke to him at the end, he was almost telling him off. He was saying, you of little faith, why do you doubt? Like, why can't you do this? Hello, I am Jesus, you know. But actually, that doesn't make sense if we look at what Jesus says about those powerful little seeds of faith and being able to do incredible things. Because Peter had just done an incredible thing. Before he started sinking, he saw Jesus, he trusted he could do what Jesus did and he got out of that boat and he started walking on the water. I imagine Jesus now almost smiling as he talked to him. Oh Peter, why are you all so scared and soggy? Look at the incredible thing you just did when you used that little bit of faith that you have. Why do you doubt? And I listened to an incredible talk over the summer by a lady called Danielle Strickland and uh, it's just inspired me and changed the way that I think about this story. Uh, if you were a grown-up then please do check it out on the New Wine website, it is well worth a watch. Do you know, like Peter, there will be times when we doubt, when we find it really difficult to trust in God. But that is just part of our journey of faith. Now think about how Jesus spoke to Peter about just using that little bit of faith um, and that together they could do incredible things. Do you know, chatting and catching with God is a great way that we can connect with God and prayer can be so powerful for us and also for other people as well. And even if uh, we have a little bit of faith, uh, God still wants to hear uh, what is on our hearts. So shall we chat and catch with God now? Great, so get yourself comfy, somewhere free from distractions where you can just concentrate on God for a little bit. Now, it might be that you want to ask these questions out loud uh, or in your head, or maybe you want to say them behind your hands. That's absolutely fine. God can hear us however we speak to him. So we've been talking today about autumn, about the leaves falling from the trees as they change colour. So this week, why don't you tell God uh, what your favourite thing about autumn is? You could also tell him what your favourite colour in autumn is as well. Great. Now, when we have conversations with our family and our friends, they also talk back to us. And it's exactly the same with God. And it's sometimes something we forget to do when we pray. We forget to listen to what God says to us as well. And because God made us, made our bodies and our minds and all that we are, we, uh, he can talk to us in lots of different ways. So you might get a picture or a word. God might tell you a Bible verse to go and have a look at. He might point something out uh, to you, or it might be in a dream. There are loads of different ways, or even just how you feel. So shall we catch with God now? Great, so why don't you ask God what he liked creating most when he made the world? Great question. Now, if you didn't hear from God just then, then please don't worry. Keep chatting and catching with God this week. And as you hear from God, remember what we know about God's character. That is a God who loves us, who cares for us, and wants the very, very best for us. So if you hear from God, ask yourself, is that something that God would say to me or about me? Now, it might be that God talks to you throughout the week. He might show you something on the way to school or something on a TV program or maybe in a picture that you've drawn. So just keep listening and see what he says to you. So when you walk to school and you see those conkers and the seeds on the ground, oh, there's one. Before you put them in your coat pocket, have a look at it and think if this seed has the power to grow into a tree, just think 
what amazing things God can do with me with just a little seed of faith. Have a wonderful week at school. Uh, enjoy it and I will speak to you soon. God bless.